Welcome back to part two of our three-part video series on using Quizlet to boost virtual engagement for your students in your classroom. In this part two of the series, I want us to look at these study activities that your students will be interacting with um, as they work towards mastery of the key vocabulary words in your class. Once students um, have studied and mastered these terms, they will then be ready uh, to go down here to these play activities, which we will look at further in depth in part three of this video series. So let's click on Quizlet Learn here and understand this activity and how your students will be interacting with it. So here in Learn, students um, have one option to see a word, uh, such as evaporation, and then they will need to click on one of these target points that you had placed earlier um, in this diagram whenever you created this diagram. So for instance here, if we click on evaporation, it'll say correct, and then it'll move here to precipitation. Um, and so if students were to click on that, they would see the same correct uh, notification, but if they were to click on the wrong, target such as this one, it will say study this one um, and they can even have the word pronounced to them and they'll press any key to continue. Um, as students answer the word correctly for the first time, it will be a familiar word, um, but it is not until they answer it correctly a couple of times that Quizlet will make it a known well uh, word. You also have some options here where students can uh, edit and change how they answer um, and as well as the question types, if you would like for them to see multiple choice questions only, written questions, flashcards, or a combination of such of these, you can prompt them to set up their learn activity the way that you would like them to do it. Let's go back here and we'll click on the next activity, which are the flashcards. Now, easy enough, the flashcards will simply display the definition first by default when students click on the flashcard, it will show the term, and then they can advance to the next card. Now, if you would like students to first see the term, you could always go in here to the options page. Every activity will have an options uh, page here. And for this activity, we can change so that they answer with the definition. If you would like them to see the term first, and once again, when they click that flashcard, it will flip around to the definition. Um, and so you can give them that option or prompt them um, to do this the way that you would prefer. Let's go ahead back and we will look at the next activity here for the study activities. We have Quizlet right next, so let's, let's click on right. And in this activity, students now um, are prompted to type the term that they are looking at in the diagram or the definition that they see um, if you just have a standard text set. So they will go ahead um, and they will type this word out and it will say correct if they are right. Um, but once again, if students um, incorrectly, let's just get this one wrong, it will prompt them right away, which is great for that immediate feedback to help them learn more effectively. And it will tell them the correct answer here, what they put, but also if it was uh, missed due to a spelling error, students do have the freedom here. They can click override. I was correct. Um, a little bit of an honesty system there, but as you'll notice, as they progress through right, it will show them how many words are remaining, how many they've gotten incorrect, and how many they've gotten correct. Once they've gotten them all correct, then it will notify them that they have completed this activity, and they can head back to our main Quizlet set page. We'll come down here to spell, and we'll look at how Quizlet now offers the opportunity for students to hear the word spoken to them. So what students will do is they will click on this little speaker here. Evaporation. And once they hear that word, they also have a definition displayed below here as well. But once they hear the word, they will go ahead and type it in. And Precipitation. It'll say correct if it is. Um, but if it is wrong, let's once again get this wrong. And we'll see how it will correct them and even spell out the proper uh, way to spell the word. Precipitation, P-R-E-C-I-P-I-T-A-T-I-O-N. Precipitation. Okay, so once again there, um, this is a great activity, especially for younger learners. Um, if they 
possibly struggle with the pronunciation. Um, this is a tremendous activity for students um, to, to learn how these words are said. Um, and not only that, they're also seeing the definition as well and practicing with the spelling of that word. Let's go back here and we will now look at our last activity um, in this study area. And this is the Quizlet test. So for the test, you will see that students get some open-ended questions here where they have to write. So they may type in the answer here um, and they'll put the answer up here. But they also will have multiple choice questions as well for this one. They need to uh, click on the right target point. Um, and then for this one here, they will go ahead and click on that and it will say check answers and it will give them an immediate score to show them um, how they are doing in terms of mastering these terms. Students also have the option to change their test um, they can select certain question types or select the ones that you prompt them to and even add a question limit to it. So I hope this part two of our series was informative because now we're going to be looking at these play activities in part three. So stay tuned. Please hit that like button if you learned uh, a lot in this video. Um, and please do not forget to subscribe. To me. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.